this is uh, I see that you have a, a bill here uh, for the National Boundary Commission's Act. Uh, fresh bill. What exactly is this bill um, to achieve? Well, you know that uh, a lot of the problems we have between communities, the communal clashes and the violence, burning of houses, um, fatalities and so on, have been caused as a result of um, the lack of delineation of boundaries between communities, um, between states and so on. And this is the responsibility of the Boundary Commission. And so what the bill seeks to do is to ensure that the Boundary Commission is – because the Boundary Commission, a lot of times they go – when they delineate boundaries or when, they, when the occurrences like that happen, they go after the fact. And then you say, oh, Boundary Commission, come and tell us exactly where our boundary is. But what we want is to have a proactive Boundary Commission that uh, ensures that um, these uh, boundaries are properly delineated. Everybody knows where their, their boundary ends and so on and so as to forestall a lot of these, um, a lot of these uh, communal clashes. And we think that that is the way to go. And that, well, I think that's the way to go. Okay, but you're not um, saying that you establish any new commission? No, no. It's a, we're amending the existing uh, act that sets up the Boundary Commission to make them more proactive. That's the intent. All right. Talking about uh, communal clashes, mm -hmm. open grazing and um, farmers' head clashes mm -hmm. till a uh, lingering problem and a lot of people are looking forward to your party in 2023. Mm -hmm. What do you think you could prefer a solution to? Which party? <laughs> well, look, yes, look, come to the rescue. Well, look um, um, right now we're in the middle of a problem and so we have to solve the problem now. If we say we're going to wait till another uh, government, whether the new government is in APC or in PDP, um, we, a lot of lives could be lost. So I think that um, it's a problem that is on the table right now. The herder, farmer clashes and all that yeah, is, is live. It's happening now. And so we, can't, we have to resolve it now. And uh, for a lot of us, uh, we know that um, people who are more versed in these things than I am have preferred all sorts of solutions, uh, chief amongst which is the issue of ranching and that uh, ranching is the way forward. And if the experts are saying that ranching is the way forward, as in other countries, as has been done in other countries, then we just need to learn to trust our experts uh, instead of making all sorts of um, excuses. If the experts are saying ranching is the way forward, then ranching should be the way forward, and we should believe in our experts because these are the things that they have um, specialization in. Your son is only yesterday again received another um, loan request from the president. Yes. Isn't these loans um, one too many? Well, look, the DMO will tell you, the debt management, uh, uh, what's it, the debt, debt management uh, organization or office, exactly. The debt management office will tell you that um, Nigeria has not reached its threshold for borrowing mm -hmm. and that uh, by international best practices, we are still well within our limits for borrowing. Um, you know, that's on, a, on the legal side. But um, on the economic side, I think that uh, the key, the problem that we have is that people cannot point hands to what we have done with funds that we have borrowed. I know that the, if you look at the budget and so on, uh, a, lot, a lot must have been done with those funds. But I think that there must be a report, a periodic report from the executive saying, look, this is what we are doing with the money we are borrowing. And the fear is that you are borrowing to pay salaries or you are borrowing to service debt. That may not be the case, but it, the executive has to make a clear case as to how they are applying these funds that they are borrowing. Um, left to me, I would have said they should ring fence the funds that they borrow and dedicate them solely to infrastructure projects. That would have been, for me, the way forward. Borrow four billion or four trillion or whatever it is you want to borrow. Carry it and put somewhere. Ring fence it and then say that the access to these funds are clearly going to be dedicated solely to infrastructure projects. Because that's the key. If we can invest in infrastructure and open up this country, the infrastructure in this country, then you will generate the kind of um, activity, economic activity you need to repay the loans. Of course, the, if you generate more economic activity, then you create more avenues for taxes. And the tax net, uh, the tax net is, is widened and broadened. And uh, we can now generate the economic activity we need to repay the loans. So borrowing is not the issue. Uh, I don't have, I'm not scared of the borrowing. I even think we, we, we may even need to look at other avenues of, uh, of investment. 
But um, I think that it is how those funds are used that is the key issue. Of course, the other thing is that we need to look at other sources of revenue. You know, uh, there are so many things that we can do alongside borrowing to generate the kind of revenue we need in this economy. We talk about uh, economic growth rates. There's a raging debate about economic growth rates in this country right now. But the truth is that if we are a developing country and we want to keep pace and lift, uh, say, 100 million people out of poverty over the next 10 years, we need to be achieving uh, growth rates in excess of 10 percent in order to really – I mean, right now we're at 2 percent – but we need to be achieving growth rates of excess of 10% in order to lift people out of poverty. And you can't do this uh, without focused planning and deliberate um, application of loans that you borrow. Let me ask you this issue on security, because yesterday the Senate President admitted that uh, there will be more appropriation for security agencies. I remember some months ago, Supplementary budget of about 800 billion was approved, and it doesn't look like the security situation in the country is abating. Mm. Do you think pouring more money into the security sector is a solution to the crisis we have now? Yes, it's part of the solution. Because, um, for instance, you do not have uh, Nigeria is grossly under policed. Um, you will be aware that um, the issue of uh, recruitment of policemen has become such a big political football that we have issues between the Police Service Commission and the Nigerian Police Force. So there's a pro we do need serious recruitment. We need to recruit policemen. So that, that, that costs money. We need to improve the welfare of the existing policemen. And even improve, and welfare includes salaries and other, you know, the, you know, just the whole welfare package. You need to improve it. Then you look at the other agencies whether it be the SSS and the other security agencies, they need to be augmented and enhanced and in terms of equipment, in terms of, um, um, again, welfare and so on. So, yes, money is an issue. But again, well, it comes back to what I was saying earlier. What we Nigerians want to know is how have you applied these funds? That is the key. If the executive, because nobody is accusing the executive of, uh, at least I am not accusing the executive of, I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt, but I'm saying come out and tell Nigerians how these plans are being applied. We approve these things here, but the, in the execution of these things, have you advertised? Have you, who are the contractors? When are the equipment coming? When is the salary going to be augmented? When are the recruitments going to be done? These are the types of, this is the type of, this is the type of information that we need in the public domain to, uh, to um, help to, to manage the situation. Uh, of course, the bottom line is that at the end of the day, security must improve. After we have put all these things in, security must improve. And, and so far as you have improved all the welfare, you have bought equipment, you have done all these things, and security is not improving, we still have a problem. So at the end of the day, security must improve. But I believe that if you uh, knock off all these, uh, all these, uh, all these uh, points, all these issues, it will, it will lead to an improvement in our security situation. Senator, so, 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 so,